Kirby Smith with Lightspeed coming to you from downtown Knoxville. You guys might recognize, huh? You guys might recognize this as one of your local watering holes. I'm not going to tell you which, but we are roofing today. And uh, this roof right here, you can kind of get a pretty good sense of the aerial of it. It definitely didn't look like it had as much needs as it does. But when you get um, when you get a good look at it from aerial, and we've shot a few ground videos as well, um, you can clearly see. And we're not doing we're not doing the roof that's uh, on the other side of that wall. It's in bad shape, and it's another property altogether. It's, this roof's about half torn off. Um, guys are on the ground getting a break. The brown portion that you're seeing is. Uh, fiberboard that's uh, that's in very very much disrepair and we're pulling all the screws out and the plates that's what the round round things are that you can see right there um, see if I can get in a little bit tighter view of those those are insulation plates that hold that insula insulating board on. So we're pulling all of those out and then we're removing the, uh, the eight by four sheets that are soaking wet. Um, it really is kind of startling how wet this roof was. I'm gonna take it back to this portion of the roof. That's a wall right there. But that is, that is a soaked roofing deck right there. Our guys were very startled um, about the amount of water that was on this roof deck. And uh, definitely gonna be a good thing to get new roofing system on, get a new membrane on for this owner. We're gonna keep the dra same drainage system, right, Will? Yes, it's uh, yeah. tape it to the back end. Yeah, definitely the same drainage system. So the same drainage system is going to be in here. We're going to drain it to the, the leading edge, and Will Kemp's here with me as well. Uh, Will, take it away. This is your job. Um... Hey, guys. Uh, Will Kemp here, Lightspeed Construction. We've got a, an old TPO, leaky TPO roof coming off of uh, about a 50-square building, and it uh, looks like I'd say about 70 75% of the fiberboard underneath is it's a saturated startling honestly i yeah. wasn't i wasn't prepared for all of that honestly this i was i was expecting this to be some type of a repair and just stop the water and you know honestly you can go up there i don't know if you noticed this will and jamar but uh you can actually take your foot and just scrub it across that fiberboard and it just it's just mush yeah and i discovered that uh we were looking to do a repair actually on this and i took some core samples uh from across you know different parts of the roof and a pattern tell and, folks what a core sample is and a, 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 a core that sample is basically uh cutting in a circular pattern with either a tool or just your knife or whatever you can cut with down through the membrane through the through the fiberboard underneath and then whatever um roof is under that in this case it's like a rolled rubber but uh anyway once we once we cut out those core samples and and pulled them out uh it, it appeared that everything was saturated on about probably a good 75 percent of the roof so we went ahead and decided to put a whole roof on it we did multiple core samples that uh that really helped the owner understand how wet this roof was and how much exposure really i mean you know how it could you know i mentioned this might this is the local watering hole how it could possibly create some airborne issues yeah, yeah. you know that you know you obviously wouldn't want in a property if you look here on the the video feed right here those are the membrane rolls I know they look kind of small but those are 300 pound TPO rolls that we're gonna be um, covering the roof with so this will actually be the roofing material that's going on and we're replacing the fiberboard folks have already kind of seen what the insulating plates are there for I've, I've described that but uh, cool job um, you want to talk about what we're going to do with the edges and at the perimeter to keep this roof affixed and, and not let it blow off? Yeah, yeah. In fact, uh, Jamar, you want to take it away with it right there? You're the expert on it. All right. This is Jamar Jackson with Lightspeed Construction. Along the perimeter of the wall, we're going to be installing the RTS grip. 
<clears throat> which we're gonna be screwing to the parapet walls and to the perimeter wall that would create a locking system for when we push the TPO up onto it, which, we're which will prevent it from pulling away from the wall and having wind-driven destruction. Okay, so we're putting a drip edge there as well, right? Yes, also putting the drip edge that will go down into the gutters um, three inches or so. Yeah, yeah, and uh, so drip edge, we're gonna use the rust strip on the edges, mechanically fastened TPO membrane, and uh, we'll be lifting the units and, and running membrane under those as well. We're probably gonna add some, uh, we're definitely gonna add some pitch pockets around the different penetrations where the HVAC units and the fans and, and stuff are and, and basically uh, make sure that everything is, is really tight before we walk away from this job. Yeah, covering penetrations is a, a big part of what we're doing here. I'm just trying to get a little tighter on that edge um, so that folks can see that a little bit better as well. This is the edge of the roof right here. And uh, you know, for, for us, that's an important part. It's gonna keep the roof from blowing off. You, know, you, never, you always wanna pay very careful attention to the edges of the roof. That's a very important part of the system any roof commercial or residential jamar was mentioning rts strip and i mean that is that is certainly a portion of what we'll be doing with the uh really the the corners that we're turning but uh the edges we're going to be putting um a heavy commercial style drip edge on we're going to be uh we're going to be um putting a tpo cover tape as well and uh that's that's the edge right there so that's getting all new all new drip edge right there. So anyway, guys, come down the edge of the roof. All of that's getting new. New drip edge and cover strip, just to make sure that we're never gonna have any issues, like allowing water to come in the edges or having any windblown issues. And you know, this roof should last this owner and this property and the business a nice long time and keep everybody you know, nice and secure. This is kind of getting into the worst of it, really. And, uh, you know, definitely improving downtown Knoxville. I mean, I, I, it's always cool to see folks be good stewards of property. I think that's sort of our goal at Lightspeed Construction is to sort of assist property owners who want to do maybe a little bit more than just that, uh, just that basic or minimal repair. Guys, thank you so much for taking a look at this video. Kirby Smith with Lightspeed Construction coming to you live from uh, live from Knoxville, downtown Knoxville. Call us if we can help with your next commercial roofing project. And uh, this is uh, this is one to, to definitely take a look at. We'll get some after photos and maybe a few other videos in here for you as well. Thank you very much. See you, guys. See you later, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, Thank guys. you.